to the cooking show where every second counts. Ready, steady, cook. Now, here's your host, Colin Lane. Australia, just tidying myself up there. My name's Colin Lane and welcome to Ready Steady Cook where we turn up the heat on great chefs to make delicious meals in just 20 minutes. Can you believe it? Let's see who's going to lead the teams in the kitchen today. On the red team is the Director of Personal Chef Service in Sydney. It's the lovely, delightful, talented Jessica Muir! Yeah. Hello. Jessica, Hello. lovely to see you. Hello. Thanks for coming on the program. And on the green team is the owner of Pure Food Cooking in Brisbane. It's the delectable Dominique Grizzo. Oh, my God. <laughs> delectable, is that all right? Oh, how are you, God. Dominique? I'm oh, well, Colin, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Now, Dominique, if you weren't your good <clears throat> self, <clears throat> who would you like to be? I'd like to be another one of my good selves. Oh, would you? Yes, yeah, I'd like two of me, because then I could send myself off to work and I could have a day where I could relax and oh, I do see. whatever I wanted. So you've got so much on, you want to ha have somebody else like to just to help climb. out a bit. Yes, and I'd like them to be me. Okay. I, I would know <laughs> that I would be in control in all areas. Wow, so why Great not? Idea. Why stop at two? Have three or four of your well, good selves. Well, why self. not? Absolutely. <laughs> totally. What about you, Jessica? Uh, my cat, actually. My cat. You'd like has to be your cat. The best life. <laughs> yes. Of anything or body I know. Yes. Um, What's the cat's name? Max. Hello. Hello, Max. Hi, Max. <laughs> Hi, Max. He's probably watching. He is. <laughs> <laughs> Our apartment captures the light, so it sort of comes up in the morning and goes down in the afternoon. So he moves from room to room. So every hour or so, he sort of gets up. Oh, it's not as hot here. <laughs> <laughs> moves into the next room, lays in the sun, has a great time. Lovely. So. How about a round of applause for that cat impression? <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely stuff, Jessica Muir. Let's meet our contestants. Cooking with Jessica for the Tomato Team is a Melbourne radio host and singer who's been rated as the best Kylie Minogue impersonator on the planet, even by Kylie herself. Please welcome Lucy! <laughs> Excellent. I'm so excited. I'm excited too to have you here. This is Jessica. You've yes. met, you've just kissed and yes, said hello. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. I may have it, yeah. Now, <laughs> stupid, stupid thing to say, but you do actually look like Kylie Minogue, doesn't she, ladies yeah. and gentlemen? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Now, is this a silly question? What inspired you to become a Kylie Minogue impersonator? Well, a, 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 you know, other than the fact that you do look like her. Well, I studied singing and dancing and acting at uni, so I thought I was going to go into music theatre. Yes. Then the Kylie show appeared out of nowhere, and ten years later, I'm still doing it. Okay. And do you have all the outfits that she she wears, like all the you know the skimpy stuff, you know, hot pants? I hope Mum's not watching. <laughs> but yeah, we do. I mean, it's it's been touring for ten years, and it's a, it's quite a large stage show. So we have all the, the buff dancers and we have all replica outfits. Uh, it's, okay. it's a big production. Beautiful work. Mm. Okay, well, let's see what's in the uh, the goodie bag. All right. Kylie, uh, Lucy. <laughs> I have dark chocolate. Whoa. Yes. Ooh. Oh, my favourite, feta. Feta, yes. I have red cabbage. Red cabbage. Yes. I have chicken breast. Whoa. Good. <laughs> and I have... Lotus fruit. Whoa! Exotic. Yeah, right? Just, to, just to throw a spanner in the works yeah, there. Yeah, just mm. to make us think. How are you going to go with that, Jessica Muir? I'm good with lotus fruit. Yes? I'm, I'm good with lotus fruit, yeah. Okay, yeah. she sounds confident. Yeah. Okay. All of it. I'll give you a couple of minutes to think about your menu ideas and we will check out who's in the green kitchen today. It's Lucy's co-host on Melbourne Radio who travelled to many parts of the world as a musician and accidentally ended up in a Polish advertising campaign. Please welcome Ken! <laughs> Nice this is Dominique. Yes, Dominique good Ken, to meet you, Ken, Tom. Dominique. Pop your bag up Thank there, you. Ken. Yes. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. It's We're great. We're excited to have you here. Now, you didn't know you'd been on the 
Polish ad campaign until you'd left the country. Yeah, well, we were touring around with our band, and when you go there, you know those little phrases, and you sort of learn things. And I'd basically learn something like, she'll be right in Polish, which is spoko spoko. And, spoko, uh, spoko. Spoko, spoko. Okay. But, and uh, when we did it, and, and so some guy just ran up to me with the microphone in Polish, didn't have a clue what he said, jammed a microphone, and there was a camera at the same time, and I just went, spoko spoko. And apparently there was a national campaign to, to promote Poland. Okay. And apparently I was Polish, and I was the sort of mascot at the end of it. So, oh, yeah. really? It's really Fantastic. Weird. Yeah. No, the important question is, did you get paid? No, I didn't get paid oh. at all. I was out of the country when I was playing, so yeah, ripped off. Have you, can I look it up on YouTube? Oh, mate, it's going back in the 90s, but yeah, maybe, maybe. All right. It could be I, there. I'm, I'm going to check that out when the show finishes. What's in your goodie bag? Right, okay. Ken, um, take us through I'm very it. excited, Dom. You're going to smash it, I know. <laughs> Pork mints. Oh. Pork mints. Yes. This might throw a span on the works, but hey, why not a bowl of cherries? Yes. Oh. You know? That's what I reckon. Exotic? Well, I've got an iceberg lettuce. Oh! It's there. My favourite, sun-dried tomatoes. Sun-dried tomatoes. Yes. yes. Lovely. And, and a bit of fusion, wonton skins. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's a lot. All righty. Yes. Very nice ingredients there, <laughs> Dom. All the best with that. I'll Dude, leave you. <laughs> I'll leave you to figure out something there. <laughs> and we will check back in with uh, Mrs. Lotus Root. What are you going to do for us? Alrighty, um, we're going to start with the cabbage. Yes. Um, and I'm going to make a cabbage salad, uh, some lentils, some red onion, a bit of parsley. A uh, little, sure. little bit of the feta in there as well. Yes, nice. good start. Nice, okay. yes. Um, then with the chicken, we're going to use one of the breasts. We're going to make a green curry with the lotus root. Yes. Oh. And then I'm going You're to excited, like Lucy, I like yes. Green curry. A little bit of lotus root in, in the curry and then we'll... Cook, uh, cut some of these really thinly and make some chips to go on top. Oh. Yes. Hopefully we can pull that off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then we're going to make some uh, a grill grill one of the chicken breasts um, with some braised red cabbage um, and a little feta nut sort of crumb. Yes. Mm. Good. Um, and with the dark chocolate, got to go pudding. Oh. Pudding. Dark chocolate pudding. Definitely. The lovely seventy percent cocoa from That's Lindt. Beautiful. Okay. Good. Looking for, I haven't seen that on the show before, the so I'm looking forward to the uh, the lotus so root. Am I. Yeah, so am I, she said. Okay, Dominique, what are you going to do with Ken? Okay, well, look, Ken I and mean, I. I mean, what are you going to do with the food, not what are you going to do with Ken? You do both, mix yeah. it up. Okay. Ken and I and the food yes. together, yes. collectively. Yes. No, we've come up with this fantastic concept. We're going to do a whole range of mini kind of cocktail food or finger food. All right. Mm -hmm. Given that we've got these great wontons. So we're going to start off doing some little mini tacos. Yeah. With the, the pork mince and the iceberg. We're going to do, I do these really gorgeous um, spicy lettuce wrap meatballs. So we're yes. going to do those. And with the sun-dried tomatoes and the pork, we're going to do little Italian ravioli. So a little oh, fried Italian ravioli. Yum. And the cherries, mm -hmm. we're also going to use the wontons and do a bit of a take on a chocolate cherry coconut fondue. Yeah. Well, fondue. Yeah. Yum. With the oh. wontons. Yes. We'll be showing you that one. Okay. Yeah. Now, you, you like a few wontons, don't you? Oh, I love a bit of wonton. Yeah. Yeah, I do. You've got a uh, signature dish. We'll talk about that later. All okay. Right, right. Audience, <laughs> it's time to get this party started. The chefs have 20 minutes to make their menus. Once you say the magic words, what are those magic words? Ready, steady, go. Yes, indeed. They are off and running, and on the tomato side, Jessica and Lucy are cooking red cabbage, feta and lentil salad, green chicken curry with lotus root chips, grilled chicken with braised cabbage, and then chocolate pudding with raspberries. And in the green kitchen, Dominique and Ken are cooking up mini pork and wonton tacos, spicy lettuce wrap, meatballs, Italian fried ravioli, and then to finish off, coconut cherry chocolate fondue. Lovely stuff. We are getting into the lotus root and we are getting we into are, some fine are. cooking. Don't go away. See you shortly. <laughs> Welcome back to Ready, Steady, Cook. Jessica Mew is just starting to work on the lotus root. Now, yeah, I did don't say they that look I had fabulous a, once they've it, been cut. They look absolutely oh, yeah, fantastic. Wonderful. I said before I haven't seen that uh, many lotus roots on the show. Actually, when you started chopping and I went, yes, I have. <laughs> memory recall. Yes, the memory recall is uh, working because when you cut it, I did not... <laughs> Hello. Sorry, Are you okay there? That was my fault. <laughs> That's all right. 
It's such an interesting shape. Now, are you just doing it in a little bit of uh, what sort of oil are you uh, making the chips out just of? Just some vegetable oil. Vegetable oil, yep. great. Vegetable oil. Then I'm going to cut some more up to um, put in my curry. So I'll just do it. So thicker for the curry. Thicker. Yeah, but the, the Chinese classic dish is stuffing this. So you stuff it and then braise it, which looks fantastic once you cut it. Now, what would you um, stuff it we with? we don't quite have time for that. If we did um, have it, time. It's usually a spiced rice. Some okay. sort of, you know, flavoured rice of some, some sort. Okay. Now, what about the, the, the chocolate pudding? Looking forward to that as well. I'm leaving the chocolate pudding to Kylie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or Lucy. Or Lucy. Or Lucy. Kylie, I'll, Lucy. I'll answer to either. I prefer Kylie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll... Uh, are you a, a good cook there, Lucy? Well, I'm, I'm competent. I'm competent. Okay. I'm good when I have a recipe and I know what I'm following. Yes. If you just gave me all that, I, I wouldn't know. I'd just put probably the lump of feta on the chicken. And oh, really? I'm not, I'm not the You'd most creative. You'd cook the chicken, though, wouldn't you? Of course I yes, would. Yes, you would. But I'm not, I'm not creative, but I, I can do this. Okay. If you're given the correct instructions, you'll be fine? Yep. Okay. Absolutely. She's okay. You're in it. capable hands, Lucy. I'm not yes. even going to watch her. Okay. <laughs> Dominique, how are you Hi. doing over here? You got the pork mints in there already. Oh, wow. Now what we've 15 done. Fifteen minutes remaining. Fifteen minutes remaining, Colin. This is for our little tacos. So I'm just going to fry off some onion. Now, usually sort of a bit of taco seasoning, but I'm going to do just a slight twist and do a little bit of curry, um, some of the AM curry powder. Sure. In there, and then Ken, as soon as he's finished our little cherry extravaganza. Yes. Um, Ken's going to get on to the um, little tomato, the sour cream, the iceberg lettuce, just for our. Our tacos as okay, well. Okay, so as opposed to using like a, a, a pork uh, taco, uh, a pork, a, a taco a mix, corn, a corn taco, are you using a wonton wrapper instead? We're using the little instead? wontons. And actually, I'll get Ken to show you what he's going to do with the wontons because we'll have to get those in. Ken, you can leave those cherries for a second. Done. Yes. And if you'd like to demonstrate. Yeah, yeah. This is um, a bit of a favourite. I think it's a bit of a favourite dish of Ken's. I love it. I yeah. yes. love it. Well, that's you why make, you make the tacos out of the wonton wrappers? Yes, because, you know, if you're using corn and stuff like that, yeah, that's really good, but these are like great party food, finger food stuff. Yes. Which I think really fits. Yes, and, and you're, you're a pretty good cook. Apparently, Lucy, just a competent cook. What about your good self? Lucy and I are opposite when it comes to cooking. She does a recipe. I'm a fusion cooker. I see. So I, I like to basically prepare food with the lights out and see what happens. Do you? Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't burn hot. yourself or cut yourself? Well, it happens. It's part of the, you know... What part it, of the it, thrill. Part of the go fun. Through. But, you know, Lucy's a really good cook. She brings stuff to, to work and things, and we all eat that. I see. And I appreciate where she's at. So it's a bit of a challenge with her So cooking. tell me a little bit about the, uh, the radio show. Look, it's on every morning, 89.9 uh, in Melbourne. Yes. Every single morning. Light yeah. FM. Light FM. Come on down. Yeah. And uh, it's a great station, great people. Alrighty, Dominique. Okay. How's it so, going? Very good, Colin. So I've divided, and a really good thing, if you are doing some party food, yes. and for example, if you were going to replicate this exact menu, get yourself three bowls, divide your mince up, and then work yourself into your different... So I've got one for my sure. little meatballs wrapped in lettuce. Yep. This one here is for my ravioli, which I'm going to be using the, um, the capriccio sun tomatoes. tomatoes. Yes. Can you say that too? Capriccio. Bravo. Your Italian's getting so good, Colin. Yeah, well, I've learnt from the best. You've been practising. Yes, I have been practising. <laughs> so we're going to throw in a few little sun-dried tomatoes into here, some parmesan cheese, parsley, basil, garlic, and that's for our, um, this is for our wontons, our little wonton ravioli that we're doing. Yum-o. Looking Yum -o. forward to that. Very neat and tidy over here, we Jessica. Like even neat and tidy. <laughs> Clean as you go and, and slightly smoky as well. A little bit smoky, a little bit smoky. <laughs> Hopefully the uh, smoke alarms are OK. But we're good. We've got our chips done here. So nice and golden. Yes, beautiful. Yeah, looking Were good. Were they only in for a couple of minutes? Not long at all. Yeah. yeah on a lower heat. 180 is too high because they're quite sugary. Um, quite sure. high sugar content in there, so they will burn quite easily. So uh, if you do want to fry them, 140, 150 is, yeah, yeah. Is, is the heat to do it on. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. So you've got the chocolate over there, Lucy. I do, I do. I'm hopefully doing all right. So you've melted that lint first and then you're putting some chunky stuff in there as well? No. No, no. Lu Lucy would tell you the story. What okay, you Lucy, there, tell Lucy? me, tell it's, me the story. We're breaking up the lint and putting it in and just mixing it through so it'll be quite chunky. Okay, so ha but how, how have you melted it there, though? No, that's not melted, that's oh. just cocoa. Oh, that's the cocoa. That's just the cocoa. I see. Yep. All righty. Lovely. Now, do you actually get mistaken for Kylie Minogue? Uh, I think... Early, in the early days, uh, we used to get, because the show travels as a large group, and so I think when people saw, like, the, the entourage, uh, we'd have a few times where people would come running up or crying for, for autographs, and we've done a few 
uh, TV specials on on different shows where they'd set me up to be Kylie and, and tried to convince people. Oh, that I see. Right. Filming with um, a news program, and uh, we were on Burke Road, which is where sort of Kylie grew up. Yes, yeah. And. We had the camera crews and the journalist who was quite well known and everybody just thought it was her and so we had people screaming and running and crying and in the end they bundled me off into a car and drove me away oh, because really? it had gotten out of hand so wow. kind of crazy. Have you actually met uh, Ms Minogue herself? Not in the flesh, no. no. We've met her family and she's a... Uh, she Ten sent... minutes chef, sorry You're Lucy. Right. Ten minutes. She sent a film crew to come and film our show for her so she could watch her back and she's been so lovely. She sends us lots of messages on Twitter. Oh, which oh beautiful. Is bizarre. Are you going to show us a few Carly moves? Oh, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> just, just one or two. Come over here Lucy, come on. Come on, something. Just something. You can't see You're anything. Do it with me. Absolutely, I am. And this is yeah. from one of her film clips. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. I won't sing it. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Was that locomotion? No, or? it was spinning around. It was spinning around. Okay. Yes. Nice you're work, very, Lucy. You're hired. You could be a backup dancer. I could be. How do you look in hot pants? Not that great. <laughs> <laughs> Not that great. <laughs> you're fine. Oh, I've suddenly gone all embarrassed. Um, okay. All righty. It's all heating up here. Don't go away. Come back and join us. There's yeah. more dancing to come. <laughs> Welcome back to Ready, Steady, Cook. Thank you so much for your company. Ken, you're doing a great job there. Using Thank you, some great knife skills with oh. the tomatoes, the red onion. Yes. What's that for, sir? That will be for the mini tacos, I suspect, and yeah. anything else we need onion and tomato Okay, for? beautiful. And tomatoes, yes. awesome. Ken, Excellent. I need you to, um, while lettuce. you're going to be talking to Colin, yes. I need you to just shred up some lettuce for me, and then also I need some lettuce in, like, kind of little strips, like this I'll show you. Sorry, Colin. No, that's quite oh, all right. I've just got to invade yeah, yeah. Food, food before interview, just done like it, that done for it, me. Done it, yep. Right, do I? Those wontons, yeah, so just a matter of seconds to... Uh, a matter of seconds. Crisp up. I'm just going to throw together the ravioli. Yep. The little. So um, you're making wonton ravioli. I'm making wonton ravioli, which is another little great idea if you just if you're wanting to make some your homemade pasta. Yes. But you don't really want to. Um, you don't really want to make your own pasta. Sure. Is really great just to use a little wonton. Yeah, beautiful. Pop your filling in. Now the fondue, that it, it kind of takes me back to the, the days of the 70s where well, fondues were so popular. I know. This is Cheese a, fondue. This is a, going to be a little bit of a take on the fondue though, so sure. you'll have to wait for that last, okay, I will those last wait few for that. moments, Colin. I will wait patiently. Anticipation is kind of... Now what's your little recipe that involves the Coca-Cola, Ken? Oh! Oh! I don't know, it's a bit of a family secret, I don't know if I should give it away. Oh, come I know, on. Well, okay, it's, it's actually ribs. Is it? Yeah. Okay. You, what you do is you cook ribs. Five minute chefs. In for 20 minutes before you throw them on the barbecue in Coca-Cola, boil them. And boil it, them in the Coca-Cola. Whatever in it eats away the meat so it falls off the bone and sweeten it, uh, sweetens it with the sugar. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's really nice. And then you stick them on the barbie and then you sauce it up. So right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And if you're weight conscious, Diet Coke. Yeah. <laughs> is good. 20 minutes boiling. Wow, yes, that's interesting. Minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes. Okay. We haven't got 20 minutes left now. We've only got a couple of minutes left, I think. Okay. Not long to go now. How many minutes have we got? Four-ish. Four-ish minutes, Lucy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You've done the parsley it's there. Beautiful. Coriander. Be coriander. Everything coriander, under... actually. Oh, coriander. coriander. Yeah. Yeah. How she's, silly she's of me. She's already done the parsley. Yeah. She's great. Yes. It's nice Hello to have good help. Chopping up the almonds there. Now, tell me, you once accidentally cooked fly resistant veggies. <laughs> Tell us Lucy. I, uh, I already know this story. I love it. <laughs> I was having friends and family around and I was I, I do a mean roast. I do a very mean roast. Sure, okay. Mm. And I had all the vegetables in the tray ready to go. Oven was heated. Yep. Went to the cupboard. Grabbed the cooking spray. Yes. Did a nice spray all over it. Kept yeah. spraying. The more I sprayed, I kept thinking, this just really does not smell like cooking spray. Yes. I realised I'd coated all my trays of veggies with fly spray, which was oh. in the cupboard. Oh. No. But so as you sad. were eating outside, you ate happily without <laughs> no. being annoyed by any insects. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I threw it all away and all we had was meat. Oh, no. Very sad. Very no. sad day. So the lesson is open the cupboard and look at what yeah. you're grabbing. Yeah. I perhaps, think. Perhaps, yes. yes. Yeah.
fly sprayed vegetables. Not a great idea, no, I suspect. No, thank you. No, thank you very much. <laughs> Definitely not. Okay. Now, how's your uh, pudding going? Is that in the uh, in the oven? Would you take it out of the microwave for us? Absolutely, That'd I be can. Fantastic. Yes, absolutely, I will. Here we go. How are we looking? There we go. Ooh, That's looking pretty looks good. Fantastic, actually. Nice work. In the little ramekins. There's nice that. Are your eyes hot? Oh, they'll be hot. Are you hot? They will be hot. There you go. Yes. Thank you. Funny that. Now, nice. how, how have you made the uh, the pudding, the chocolate? We saw that before. This is a really easy recipe. We've just whisked it all up together and, uh, and popped it in the ramekin. It's, it's so simple. We've got flour, sugar, a bit of cocoa, a little bit of egg, milk, a bit of oil uh, and the chocolate. And how long in the microwave? Three minutes. Three minutes. Look at that. Very quick. So easy. Colin? Yes. How yes, Dominique. Can you... Um, yeah, I can do, you do anything do you want. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to. Can you to. stir up just a tiny bit? Now, this is our chocolate sauce. So if you don't have chocolate, if you weren't fortunate enough to get lint 70% chocolate in your bag like we weren't... <laughs> yes. Sorry. ..as opposed to the other team... Oh! <laughs> and you need that to... That qualifies <laughs> as a dig at the other, <laughs> at the other team. No, no, it's all good. Two because minutes remaining. Ken and I thought we don't really need chocolate because we can make our own simply by doing cocoa with a little bit of icing sugar, yes. a touch of water, and I've also just added in a little bit of cream which gives it that really nice smooth texture yes. and we've actually got our own and what would you like me to do? Uh, I was going Dominique. to get you to stir it. Oh, to do what you've just done. But I've done it now. It was more important for you to stand there, Colin, and I just so, to I me. I feel so inadequate. <laughs> I really wanted to get my hands dirty there for you, uh, Dominique. But uh, oh, look anyway, at that, next Cole. time. Next time. Beautiful. Look at these lovely little wonton tacos there. Tacos, I've awesome. underplated it though. Look, there's two You've more. Underplated it. Yeah, it's yeah, only a no, bigger we plate. Do like <laughs> Can we... we'll use one of these? Oh, yeah, nice we need, work. Yeah, yeah, yeah we don't like the And can we... we need a little bit of herb, a bit of green, I like? Yeah, a bit of herb. A bit of herb, dark green. Right. Dark herb, herb on the side. And did you go the sour cream on there? Uh, I will I will now. Okay, can you put a bit of sour cream on top? <laughs> yes. And some herb. All right, done. Can I just say, oh, look at our section in comparison <laughs> to... <laughs> okay. I love the... Mouse is just a mess. There's the music, ladies and gentlemen. If you've just joined us, it's Ready, City Cook with Dominic Rizzo. Uh, <laughs> she's, she's, she's taken over, uh, but I that's need, okay. I need to Ken. No, I need to Ken, that's right. Look at those uh, little wonton tacos. I'm going to give them a go at home. I might try. There's the, the, uh, the chicken curry there with the, the lotus there root. There is, there is. Look at those that. little puddings there, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Oh, oh. Nice. let's do two. Ooh. They're good. I wish I could eat them. Great. I should be so lucky <laughs> if I could eat them. <laughs> hey, that food is spinning me right round. Oh, what else? What, what else can I come up with? Um, oh, better the devil you know. Oh, seconds remaining. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an absolute kitchen locomotion. On the tomato team, this is what Jessica started with today. Chicken breast, feta, red cabbage, lotus root, dark chocolate and hot pants. And on the green team, Dominique started with pork mince, wonton wrappers, sun-dried tomatoes, iceberg lettuce, cherries and Jason Donovan. Well done, Jessica Muir. Well done, Lucy. Nice work, Lucy. Yeah, Thank you. nice work. Yeah, look at that. So there's our little uh, red cabbage and lentil oh, salad yeah. to start. Nice. This is a classic. I make variations of this quite often, and oh. the family love it. It's all in the dressing. It's just some just some vinegar and olive oil. Dig in there, just, Lucy. You need to get taste. your quantities right. So make sure you taste it before you pop it up. Yes. Oh. Right. Yum. Okay. Oh, lovely fresh flavours to, to start mm. us off there with our beautiful four courses and beautiful colours really as well. Yeah, mm. nice, mm. nice. And moving on to okay. our little green chicken so curry the, here. The, the chicken and uh, lotus root green curry oh. with the lotus chips. Wow. Yes. Um, quite spicy green curry. I've oh. kept that pretty warm for you. Awesome. I hope you're good with that. Do you like a bit of spice there, Lucy? <laughs> No, oh, no, no. no it's, it's fine. <laughs> Try a chip. The chips are great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's actually all right. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then uh, grilled chicken here with the red cabbage. Okay, so we've got some braised red cabbage, oh, some grilled chicken, mm. and a little feta nut sort of oh. herb 
uh, mix on top there. Just what to, sort of just nuts are in out. there? Oh, you were doing almonds. the almonds. Yes. Almonds. Mm -hmm. Lucy chopped me up some almonds. Do you have for that to one. toast them first or just a la natural? You can. Yes. You can. It just depends what texture you like. If sure. you want them really crunchy, it's good to good to toast. Okay. It's amazing. Great. Mm. And our little uh, chocolate puddings as well. Tell us all about it with raspberry. Oh. And uh, we've got a little bit of ice cream that we'll pop on the side uh -huh. of there. And by the looks of those puddings, it looks like they were expertly brought out of the microwave as well. <laughs> I don't know who Perfect did that, shape. but they just yeah. looked like they were that, brought out with such care and, just makes it. and Perfect. expertise. Perfect shape. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Colin. And very dainty with a knife and fork there, Lucy, yes, too. Yes, on TV. Yeah, nice work, Kyle. <laughs> Okay, Jessica Muir, great food. What are we going to call it? All right. Uh, Lucy has a talent for singing like Kylie Minogue. Spin around for our chocolate puddings. They're all the go. Oh! oh. Spin around. <laughs> nice work. I can't get that food out of my head. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> the audience was loving it before. Now they're groaning. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the, sig the signal for that me to stop enough. doing those that's little puns. Alrighty. Okay, we're going to start with the, okay. the wonton tacos. We're going to start with the wonton tacos. A little oh. bit of fresh lime. Now this was actually... Um, oh, yeah, good. Yeah, a little yes. bit of lime on there. This was actually Ken's, one of little Ken's choices. Because it's tucked Should in there. in there, so Ken? Yeah, yeah, go nuts. Yeah, go oh, stop, what? Oh. Yes. Oh, oh. This is the... This is the, mm. the lovely part it's of the fine. show. So we got that really oh. nice. What do you want with the tuck? You want that really nice tasting mm. You probably won't be able to finish that, so just put that down <laughs> later. Because we need to move oh, yeah. on. Yes, later. we need to move on. But you want that really nice tasting. <laughs> 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 nice tasting mint. So we used to live with that curry powder spices. Mm. Um, then we've got the lovely little spicy meatballs wrapped oh. in the lettuce sleeve. Beautiful. Now this is all finger food, so you know. Yeah. Use, use your fingers. fingers yeah. And, use um, your hands. These wow. are great because if you've got a nice, a really hot, spicy meatball, the lettuce leaf is actually really nice and fresh <laughs> and. Cool. Cool it down, yeah, yes. I'm going to give you a nap, darling, just in case oh, you need. Thank you. Yeah, Beautiful. What do you think? Awesome. That, so, it's and mad. these they look great, and they're really uh, fun to put what together. Was, what was in the mixture? What was in the, so the this, meatball mixture? The meatball mixture had um, some chili, um, chili, garlic, basil. I put some of the, the mustard, the um, gourmet garden um, parsley. So just Italian okay. and lots of hot. Beautiful, lots and the ravioli. Hot. The little um, wonton ravioli with our sun-dried tomatoes. It looks fantastic. Oh, wow. Parmesan cheese. <laughs> oh, that's it. Hey, grab that. Really? One with well, the you've got to have pretty big fingers <gasps> if that's finger food. <laughs> Is that finger wow. food? Wow. Well, you could eat it with a knife and fork, but you could... One of these crispy ones. <laughs> just get in there. Grab a knife and fork. I'm going to use a knife and fork. Yeah, and they get stuck in there. Oh, man. Lovely. And you want a really nice sauce. fresh basil as well. Of, that's it. You want a nice sauce oh. to have with that. Oh. Ooh. I'm going right. to build... I'll build one of these for you. Drink Oh, OK, so, so you have to build. This okay. is the little sort of... Mm, yeah, mm. so this is the kind of the fondue. This is our little bit of a take on a fondue. So you put the little cherry. You put the little chocolate. Oh, little chocolate. You put the bit of coconut. Toasted coconut. Oh. Oh. Go for it, go for it. Oh. oh. Beautiful food, Dominique. What are we going to call this then? <laughs> We're going to call this Ken Likes Cooking with the Lights Out. <laughs> Our cherry chocolate fondue will make you twist and shout. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful work, Dominique. Now it's over to the audience for your vote on which of our chefs has cooked up a winner. Let's see your tomatoes if Jessica and Lucy are your top choice or let's see your capsicums if Dominique and Ken are your number one. Judge Olivia, it's over to you. Cards up now. Here we go. Gee. It's tomato. It's tomato. Jessica and Lucy. Yeah, come on. Bad luck, guys. Oh, no. Those wontons look pretty good to me. Okay, Lucy and Ken, thank you so much for being on the show. We've got some gifts for you from all of us at Ready, Steady, Cook. Look at this, Ken. Oh. Our winner today takes home the brilliant Breville Control Grip Stick Mixer with a lightweight design that lets you glide through foods effortlessly. Our other contestant has won a Quizzy Pro Smart Chef pack of innovative kitchen products. And you'll both get a 12-month subscription to Recipes Plus. The magazine full of simple, affordable recipes. There you go, some lovely prizes for you both. Please give it up for Lucy and Ken, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck with the radio. Good luck with 100% Kylie. Thank you so much for being on the show. Now it's time to swap sides, taste each other's food. We're going to come back and see how the chefs go with the secret ingredient. Don't go away.
For all bookings and inquiries, please visit www.100percentkylie.com and make sure you like our 100% Kylie page on Facebook today.